You're watching the Fox 8 10 o'clock news with Neil McNeil, Katie Nordeen, and Max Weather Chief Meteorologist Van Denton. Sustainable, strong, empowering, determined. It's almost impossible to have a conversation with tonight's newsmaker and not hear her mention one of all or all four of those words. That's because they really describe what she's about. In fact, they have helped her create a business that's unlike anything else in the Piedmont. Lee Comer has come a long way from her first job serving customers at a yogurt shop in Asheboro. Today, she's still serving customers, but in a much bigger and innovative way. I think Greensboro is changing so m dramatically and so yeah. quickly, and I wanted to be a part of that. That part is this 30,000 square foot building you could say anchors the southern part of Greensboro's downtown. It's the Moorhead Foundry. This building that housed a coal and ice business in the 1920s is now home to seven separate businesses and a corporate headquarters. It's owned by Lee Comer and falls under a three-word corporate name, fresh, local, good. Local to me means within 30 to 60 miles. Um, fresh is obviously not freezing unless you absolutely have to. And then the good is obviously you want your food to be good, but it's also meaning that it's good for you. Her love of the business dates back to when she and her twin sister were growing up in Asheboro. We just used to think about owning this two-story pizza hut, but I waited tables all the way through high school, through college, and um, supplemented my income through my first business, waiting tables. But Comer would leave her twin sister and the grandparents who raised them to live in Atlanta for a while. Then her desire to be with her sister and her new and growing family brought her back to Greensboro, where she would open the Iron Hen Cafe in 2010. To me, hens are really interesting. I love the power of women and yeah. so the, the hen is self she can sustain herself why the iron part because iron is sustainable and it's strong the concept was so strong comer opened this iron hen cafe in Asheville. at the same time she worked on another idea we we've all seen it in like a um, a mall food court when you look you go up to a taco bell or a kfc well behind the scenes that's an aramark or a sodexo right. running the show a shared kitchen so that's kind of what really got me thinking, yeah. you know, but this could be done in a different uh, landscape. And so the Moorhead Foundry was born. Among the businesses, four flocks and larder. The four came from her sister's four children. The flocks, the restaurant's southern cuisine specialties, chicken, turkey, duck, and quail. Don't worry, there are other options, including beef on the menu. <laughs> The background music playing is a salute to what Comer calls the outlaw movement. On Sunday mornings, our grandmother was cooking for Sunday lunch and supper, and she was always playing Willie, Waylon, Hank. Four Flocks shares a kitchen with another restaurant, Revolution Burger, next door. Well, we'd like to think that we're part of the revolution, the revolution being grass-fed and finished beef, 100%, yeah. no grain ever. Next door, the Baker and the Bean, featuring, you guessed it, plenty of sugar and caffeine. There's also Hush, a members-only speakeasy, the public, a private event space, not to mention Carolina Event Rentals, which, like the other businesses, supports the Fresh Local Food Group's large catering operation. This is the showroom. They can touch it, feel it. They can have their tasting on it. We like to say brands of a feather flock together. It's not just Southern cooking. There's, we have a new spin on it. And that spin includes a dedication to the continued revitalization of the southern part of downtown Greensboro. After all, one of the four downtown Greenway entrances is in her parking lot. She was even able to build with the help of getting the area rezoned along with a loan from the city as well as an urban development block grant. All right, so four flocks and larder. Yeah. You explained the four flocks part. Where does larder yeah, come I, from? I had no idea what a larder was until yeah. I did the story. Traditionally, I learned a larder is a room or a large place to store food below room temperature okay. while it waits to be eaten. And in this concept, the larder is a gift shop in the front part of the restaurant where customers can wait and oh. shop until their table's ready. I understand you've been in that I've, gift shop. You've I've been in been that restaurant. It's awesome, yes. Yeah, Two thumbs up, very cool. Neat, neat concept. Yeah. And uh, expect more from Lee. We'll probably be doing story, more stories on her. I in think the so, yeah.